And there's there Ron, he is. Hey. In, Ron in the back lot of the radio station. <laughs> Uh, this is a window <laughs> that we're unable to open, but right. we, he has a cell phone, so here we go. Good That's morning. more powerful than any mask right there. Good though. morning, Ron. Good morning. So I'm the first one to do to do this? You are. You are. <laughs> Remote. It works pretty good. It's a little bit loud with the thruway, but I'm I'm concentrating. Okay, the good. First, I may want to use the Bluetooth, Air, the Bluetooth AirPods. But okay, you know those. I'm going to be okay, though. Those Apple AirPods, they cancel out the uh, the noise. You don't hear any noise. Oh, really? It's, it's unbelievable. And truth be told, Ron, we couldn't get anyone else to do it. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> oh, I think this is great. I would like to try to try new stuff in media. Uh, last night, my wife was yelling at me. I put those earbuds in and phew, couldn't hear a thing. <laughs> I did. Uh, I can't what hear you. Doing? All right, Ron, go. what are we promoting here today? Good morning. Good morning. So I have a new series of columns that I'm doing. I was uh, really kind of troubled by all the misinformation and disinformation on social media about COVID. Yeah. It seems like everything I read is someone uh, just found a meme or found a YouTube video or some crazy conspiracy theory. So I found three families right in Westerland who actually had COVID. And I interviewed them and someone Brian Miller about what it's, what it's actually like to have COVID and to recover from it. Yeah, that's interesting. So I and I to go to yeah. the store. I think that's uh, that's going to be an interesting. And Brian went through a lot, right? Um, Absolutely, yeah. It, it was it was horrible, yeah. And all the people that I interviewed did as well. Yeah. Did, can I just ask Ron? Uh, forgive me. Sure. Did you did you come across anybody in West Berlin who had it but didn't have bad symptoms? Uh, no, I didn't. But if there are people like that, this is a series. So I'm asking people to reach out to me because I'd like to write more of these. And I'm also looking for people that work in stores who have to deal with those jerks that come in that don't want to wear a mask, mm, or, yeah. you know, incorrectly. And really, anybody who's been personally touched by COVID in some way, I'd like to talk to. I see so much of people posting stuff that other people said or that they saw the news, and usually the news sites are questionable that they're using. I, I want to talk to people who actually are dealing with it in some way. Fair enough. When does this, uh, so this features three people plus Brian Miller? Uh, or, it's three families. Uh, Actually, there's one family, a father and two sons, a couple, and one woman who got it, but her kids did not, and Brian Miller, yes. Boy, and that is so the most all, interesting so thing. Don't you, six, six don't, people. don't you wonder, though, that um, why it is that a family, somebody in a family can get it, and then one of two things can happen. Other family members don't get it, and they're in they're in close proximity and contact, or they do get it and they don't have severe symptoms. There's going to be at some time in our lifetime that, uh, and hopefully in the next year or so, yeah. that we find out why it is that some people get it and some people some people don't. I so, heard about a husband and wife that was the husband had it, wife didn't. They they were intending to try and you know I don't know why, but try to have her get it, and she never did. Okay, well that. Is stupid. I know it's stupid, okay. but I'm just saying it was not I'm in the sense I'm glad, of like trying I'm, to. I'm glad we have that story, but that's dumb. I know. I Why know. would you try to get it? Well, it's like chicken pox. It's really not that bad. That's not true. It, it could be horrible, right, Ron? It could be horrible. Well, the yeah. family that I interviewed, where the mother had it, when she was diagnosed positive, she kind of isolated herself in the bedroom, kept the kids out, yeah. wiped everything down, and the husband took care of the kids. And horrible is absolutely right. One of the things that people wanted to stress is that when you recovered, you, you know, you, you uh, see your stats every day. I see on Twitter every day from Pacenti how many people have had it and they've recovered. The people that have recovered that I talked to, most of them still can't breathe right. They're so still having your right. the recovery. And the question right. is, so we. Somebody, um, well, it'll be interesting to talk to Dr. Hall about this because there are, the, the question still remains. How much do you recover? Do you recover? Will you eventually recover right. at hundred percent? Right. The other problem are people that are, are that, especially younger people that get it and don't show symptoms or very minor symptoms, are are having lingering problems as time goes on. So I think there's there's a lot to this this uh, this thing. But uh, I, I also know someone, Andrew, that um, that the wife got it. And actually, we've talked about it on this program. Yeah. But the uh, the father and the kids, I think they got it, but didn't have didn't, really didn't have the, the the symptoms. So it, it is really intriguing. And someday we'll know. I hope why. I'd be interested 
interested in talking to them too. So, like in the article, you can find out how to get in touch with me because I do want to talk to people okay. who have had the whole variety of experiences. Now, the person I was talking about, he had it in January. To this day, he says when he wakes up in the morning, it takes him a half hour until he catches his breath. Wow! He's considered to be recovered. Did he have he the has antibodies? To get up and use a nebulizer and take Is that how power he knew? And, yeah. Did he? Did he have symptoms? He did. He had it very okay. badly. They didn't he know what it, it was at the time, but then he tested positive for antibodies later in May. Clearly, having him here, Andrew, is a major distraction for you. Um, you you don't hear anything that he <laughs> says. Andrew, what is going on? I don't see him. He'd be way to your. I'm in the. Your, I'm in the corner. To your left. All right. Uh, this is so. Tell people where they can see this and pick it up and read it. Well, it's on. It's in stores now. So it's in the Clinton Record. You can get these in Westland, Clinton, New Hartford, Yorkville, and I think Washington Mills in uh, convenience stores. It'll be online tomorrow on the Rome Sentinels Clinton, uh, the Rome Sentinels website on the Clinton Record page, or go directly to uh, RomeSentinel.com/slash Be More Westville. Or on Twitter, twitter.com slash Ron right. Coffee Fine. I'll uh, j- link, link, link to it. Just one more question. So the, you, sure. were, you were saying I you talked. one talk- more event I'd like to talk about. Wait, well, we got to go quickly because I have uh, uh, Jill Griffo waiting. January. Uh, so yeah. this person had it before anyone knew what COVID was, really. He did. They didn't know what okay. it was at the time. Yeah. Oh, very interesting. interesting. So one more quick thing, Bill, if I could. Yep. I'm organizing and doing the PR for our state, the post office rally that we're having locally on uh Saturday at 11 o'clock at the New Hartford Post Office. So please come and join us. Okay, Ron. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. You Ron. are Thanks, the first. Guys. You are the first uh, guest to do the back lot window. I'm, I'm. I hope you put this on YouTube. I think we will. I'll, I promise well, you, it'll go up. I will, I will share it. Okay. Very nice. Okay. It's future Thanks, trivia guys. question. By Thank the way, you, Ron. as well. Take care, man. All right. Future yes. trivia question, right? Uh, yes, who was, the, who was the first person to uh, to do our backlot window? someday when we're looking way back at this garbage. During COVID-19.